Hi, Wayne. Yep. You know what? As soon as I down, as soon as I took a look at the source code, I know exactly it, it dawned on me. This is the HTML4. We want the HTML5 tag, and its SharePoint is under 2007. That's uh, the package that it. Um, that's the editor that you're working with, and that might be part of the reason. Um, the HTML5 version would be better. I'm going to have to download a copy. I'm just letting you give you an update for now of what I found. I'll have to take a look at this in more detail tomorrow um, to find the best way to sort it out. I think just simply replacing, doing a find and replace on this tag to an HTML5 tag should sort that out for you. Uh, but I'll have to download a copy of each because uh, the one we have, and then we'll take a look at it, um, uh, working with maybe upgrading to Expression Web 4. It's free. But um, that is what I think it is. Uh, as soon as I saw your page, and it obviously showed up here to say this, show me this is a, a transitional XHTML, which is HTML4, it sort of dawned on me, and um, we may just need to upgrade this particular tag to an HTML5 tag, and that might just sort it out. And that's why you're seeing, that's probably why you're seeing a difference. But I'll have to download two copies, open up a different editors, preview them and that sort of thing and go through those steps there to see what it is. Uh, but that's what I think it is and that's probably why we're seeing a difference. But uh, nothing that can't be sorted out. Just um, two different packages is really what it comes down to. One for SharePoint Designer 2007 which supports HTML 4.01 and of course the X Expression Web 4 package supports the HTML 5 and the HTML5 supports the different animations and things like that, and HTML4.01 probably doesn't. So um, let me investigate that, and I'll uh, have some more answers for you in the morning.